Hello everyone, my name is Ish and today in this video I will be demonstrating an out-of-the-box integration of ServiceNow with Twitter. A little bit about myself, currently I am pursuing my master's at University of Cincinnati, Ohio. I have worked as a ServiceNow developer with Accenture for three years. I have implemented IT service management, IT operation management, performance analytics and also ServiceNow portal. If you have any queries regarding ServiceNow, JavaScript or Angular, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn. This integration with Twitter will enable us to track, break down and report on the number of tweets and retweets containing certain tags and mentions. You can specify which tags or users to track by creating Twitter context records. I will demonstrate this later in this video. If you are playing with your dev instance, you can use your personal Twitter account. You will have to create a Twitter application and associate it with your Twitter account. To create a Twitter application, go to apps.twitter.com and sign in with your Twitter credentials. You go and create a new application. Once you have your application created, you will have your consumer key and your consumer secret under the tab keys and access tokens make sure not to share it with anyone as they can access your twitter account using your consumer key and consumer secret once you have them go to your service now instance make sure you have the pa admin pa twitter context user and web service admin roles after having these roles, you can go to plugins. In the plugins menu, look for Twitter plugin. In the Twitter plugin, click on the related link for activate and upgrade. As I've already activated it, I have just an option to upgrade it. Once you have activated it, you can have the Twitter application menu. In, the, in this application menu, you have dashboard, tweets, Twitter contexts. In the Twitter context table, you will be mentioning the hashtags and the mentions that you need to track on Twitter. With this, you can go to rest messages under web services. In the rest messages, go look for get Twitter OAuth token. In this REST message, go for HTTP methods and look for POST function. In this POST function, in the authentication tab, select the authentication type as basic. Your user ID will be your consumer key and your password will be your consumer secret. After entering them, click on update. Once you have updated it, you can go back to your Twitter application and click on Twitter collector job. To proceed further, make sure you run this job at least once. This will be fetching all the data related to the Twitter context table. To run this job, click on trigger type and set it as interval. In the repeat field, set it for two minutes or three minutes as per your convenience. This will make sure that this job runs after every two minute or three minute. Click on update. And the state will change from ready to running and then back to running, uh, back to ready after this is this job runs. Once this job has run, you can go to PA data collector job. And when you go down, you will have to check the active field and click on execute now once this job executes you can go and check the job logs these job logs will have a state as collected with warning or may come without warning as well once you have collected the data it will reflect on your dashboard so if you click on dashboard it will give you 
the tweets related to service now the retweets and all the favorites followers and also the timeline like october 17 november 17 december 17 you can also check the tweets that have made as hashtag service now you can also check the twitter source is this is our integration of service now with twitter thank you for watching again my name is ish feel free to connect with me on linkedin happy integration